Welcome sa ato ang part 6 sa atong preaching series Suit Up into Battle Gear. Last week I shared to you and we uh, we watched a video about Navy Seals training, no? Ah, uh, kayo ang ilahang preparation. They are being subjected to an environment that is hostile so that pagdating sa actual na gera, hindi sila natataranta. Somehow they have a fear of what is going to happen when you are in a battle. Meron sila tinatawag na drone free training. Uh, they are placed in a very deep uh, swimming pool. Nakatali ang paa at kamay. Tapos walang oxygen, ilulub-lub sa, sa pool. So kung tayo yun, sigurado lulub talaga. No? And uh, somehow, because of that training, these Navy SEALs can travel 5 kilometers in the sea without any instruments at all. That is how uh, skillful they are because they were trained in and forth. And uh, also, some of our, even in sports, like for example, uh, Taekwondo, boxing, or any, it's a training, no? Uh, sabi nga ni Apostle Paul, life is like a race where the runners run. And when they run, dapat mananalo ka. Kung tatakbo ka man lang, mananalo ka. Di ba? In this world, we are being placed in a fallen world. Pero ang sabi ng Lord, kung nandito ka man lang, huwag kang magpapatalo. Tama ba? Well, the enemy, we cannot stop him from attacking us, but we can not, or we will, or we can allow him, or not, to win. Nasa kamay natin yun. Tama ba? If we are trying to look at the passage in the Bible, Sabi pa doon, greater is he that is in me than him that is in the world, meaning mismatch na. Kasi ang Panginoon natin is great, greater than anyone. So wala makakatalo sa kanya, walang issue kay Lord, patalo na siya doon. Amen? Tapos sinabi din sa Bible na tinupos na tayo ng Panginoon, bayad na tayo sa kasalanan. But meron pa rin kaaway. Ang sabi sa book of Proverbs, the enemy is like a roaring lion waiting to devour us. So how are we going to connect this? When God is a God of victory, at ang sabi ng Lord that you are an overcomer, and why is it that the enemy is there? Because there is no issue with the enemy. Claro sa kanya na he will steal, he will kill and destroy you. At klaro rin sa Panginoon na all authority in heaven and earth has been given to Jesus Christ. Very clear yun. At ang klaro din na tinubos na tayo ng Panginoon. Yes. Now the issue is, are we going to accept it or not? But it's not just as you, uh, okay Lord, ano na tayo? Agree, ag we are on agreement na. But somehow, there lies in us Meron tayong gagawin pa rin. Amen? Everything was free. He bought us for a price through the blood of Jesus Christ. But we need to do something coming from our own. Sabihan mo yung katabi mo, may gagawin tayo. Okay. I In this series, we are being taught that there are two main factors that we need to consider. One, that there is a spiritual battle. At ang spiritual battle is hindi siya battle na lutang or tansan. Alala niyo yung uh, ano? Ah, I don't think that itong mga kabataan ay uh, na-experience nila ito. Yung mga tirador noon, no? Ah, ako, marami akong buta sa ulo noon kasi lagi akong natatamaan ng bato. No? I, I, I'm fascinated with that. Doon sa bansala, naglalaro kami mga tirador, no? Tapos yung mga Lutang, no? Tapos yung tansan na uh, ipaplaten mo yung isa tapos ipapatong mo sa isa. So may blade na gano'n. Iikot yun. 
Yung sa akin, nung pinakamalakas mo, kaya pag lumabas, ang takot sila lahat. So, gira-gira yun, no? But hindi po yung ganun, kasi may agreement kami noon, pag nag-surrender na, like for example, itong mga airsock, no? Tama ba? Gira. Pag natamaan na, mag-raise lang ng hand, tapos na. Hindi ka natirahin. That's a warfare, right? But it's a game. In the World War I, and even in the our United Nations, the Geneva Convention have stated that those who surrender, you should not kill them. Tama ba? And yung mga nasa Red Cross, hindi dapat babarilin. Kasi wala silang kalaban. They are neutral. Uh, so, they are going to pick whoever they, it is. Either Kalaban, American, Japanese, or Russian, or German, or Chinese, or whatsoever. Pag pumasok ang Red Cross, walang titira sa kanila. That is the kind of war we have. But in a supernatural battle, walang pakiala ng demonyo. Amen? Kaya nasa gitna ka, wala Lord, wala, hindi mo kasali dyan, gera dyan, no. Actually, you are the target of the enemy. Okay? So, hindi pwede na, hindi ako kasama. Kasama ka, sabihin mo, target ka ng enemy. Kaya po, pinag-aaralan natin to. So, there is a battle and there is a preparation. Okay? Sabi pa, ang may kanta noon na, Ah, ano yun? Marcha, Marcha. Ano, ano? Mga sundalo. Ni Kristo. Sundalo daw ka ni Kristo. Sabihan ko yung katabi mo, sundalo ka ni Kristo. Bakit ka tinawag na sundalo? Ibig sabihin, may gira. Hindi yung nakita mo sa mga bata. Na Marcha, Marcha, no? Tapos, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Wala kang problema yung practice yun eh. Just to inform us that we are soldiers of Christ meaning ang sundalo ay hindi papuntang party. Hindi sila papunta sa school, papuntang gera. Amen? Ang mga Navy SEALs, they are trained for battle. Minsan na namamatay sila eh. They were drawn intentionally so that kapag nag-snap sila at namatay, isisipiar yun. Kailangan maranasan mo. Yan yung tinatawag na BUDS, no? BUDS training. Mas grabe yun. Na they have to experience death so that they will not be afraid of dying. Tayo mga Kristiyano, anak ng Diyos, ang sabi pa sa Panginoon, if we die for ourselves, we'll, we will really lose it. But if we die for Jesus Christ, we will have life. Amen. Kailangan may mamatay muna. Ano ang mamamatay dyan? yung mga bagay na hindi para sa Panginoon. Amen po? So, preparation. Balikan po natin yung verse na pinag-uusapan natin dito. Actually, I use uh, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 11. Bakit actually, uh, pumupunta ako hanggang 13 to 15. Mahaba lang kasi kaya ito lang ginamit natin. Sabi pa dito, in verse 10, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Suit up the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's skin. Claro, sabi ni Apostle Paul, ibabalik ko, magpakalakas ka, hindi sa lipobitan, hindi sa cobra. Magpakalakas ka sa Panginoon. Bakit umahawot din na tayo ay pinanghihinaan din? Nagtaka ko, ang naluya, lagi ko ako sabot. Hindi mo ba napapansin? Bakit kaya ako nangihina? Hindi ko maintindihan. Unknowingly, you've been attacked and we described that three weeks ago that there are five signs that you are under attack. When you lose your appetite for God, you are being attacked. Okay? So, and that's why, sabi niya, so, uh, the full battle gear, armor of God. Kasi, so that you can stand against the devil's scheme. Apostle Paul was saying that there is an attack from the enemy, but you need to stand firm. Amen? Amen. Sabihan niyo yung katabi mo, stand firm. Stand firm. Okay. Now, to suit up in full battle here is not a suggestion. Ay, baka, baka, uh, suggestion lang. Kung gusto mong mabuhay, ah, uh, 
magsuot ka ng armor. Kung gusto mo, kasi nandiyan mo talaga yung enemy, may armor ka wala, atakihin ka talaga. Di ba? Pero, nasa sa'yo yun. No, it was a, it is a command from the Lord. Say it, command. Command. Kapag sinabi command, pwede ba mo balibad? Okay. Hindi. So, there is, there are two kinds of results, whatever response we have. Number one, in the Old Testament, sinabi, if you disobey God, curse will come. So, meaning, wag, ay, wag mong, pasam, wag mong pag, uh, bintangan ang Lord na bakit may salok na pumasok sa buhay. Why? Because there was a point in your life that you disobeyed God. Hindi mo nasuot yung armor. Amen? Number two, if you obey God, what will happen? A blessing will come. Amen? So, there is a result for everything. This obedience results to curse. Obedience will result to blessing. Amen? It's a principle and a kingdom heavenly principle. This picture, sinabi dito, nung tumayo ngayon, ang, ang general ng military, nakalinya lahat, just try to example yourself, na, sabi kanina, sundalo ka ni Kristo, di ba? Now imagine yourself in the supernatural realm, nang patawag ang kumanding general ngayon. No? Nakakita kayo ng C-80? No? At saka ROTC noon? Kapag tumayo yung commander at saka core commander, naka-align lahat yan, batalyon sa City High noon, high school pa ako, six batalyons kami. So kapag merong na parade and review, nakatayo kami lahat kahit mainit, hindi ka pwede mariklamo. No, push up naman. So ang iba, matayin talaga ba? Yung mga walang klaso, walang kaso, klaro ka on, yun, hindi kumakain, na, tumba talaga, mainit. But we stand in attention. Masaya kami pag nakatikas pa yun gano'n. Ano? Ay, salamat. Ha, kapoy, oy. No, init. Kaya, saya ako nung nawala na yung ROTC kasi hindi na talaga ako pumasok sa ROTC. Hindi ko na pinaya. Nagbayad na lang ako. No? So, may babalik daw nila. Kaya, kayo mga kayo, kayo, sigurado ko. Ha, andyan na. Pero next year, mandatory na yan. Lahat. Ngayon, optional pa lang. So, bili, magsuot kayo ng boots every Sunday. Ha? Ang init. Uy, kaya ako na. Masaya na kayo makakita ng, ng bahay niyo. Grabe talaga. Sa huli ko, sa ako nag-ROTC noon. Ha, oh, pag malapit sa may malapit na, malapit na. Inip talaga ako sa pixel na Diyos. Inip talaga, grabe. Kaya, naranasan kayo, sabi ko, on the third, and the fourth, and the fifth, hanggang two semesters, a four semesters yun eh. So, mainit. Now, you try to example yourself that the commanding general has called upon you and you stand in attention. At ang isang instruction niya is that Kayo dyan, pupunta tayo sa gira. Pwede excuse lang, Lord. Medic na lang ako. Wala kasi excuse dito. Unlike yung mga si AP, pwede ka doon sa, sa mga special company. No? Pwede magbanda. Kahit dito worship team ka, sundalo ka pa rin. So, pag sinabi ng Lord, hindi pwede, ah, Lord, naang may gitara yung gumitan. Ano? Ah, Lord, may drums naman ako yung gumitan. Eh, hindi ba nakadefine dito anong hahawakan mo? Okay? So, ang hahawakan mo dito is the full armor of God. Amen? There are two kinds of armor. One is for defense and another one is for defense. Offense. May pang-atake din. Now, paano mapupunta sa gera kung gulpin lang hawak mo? Diba? So, kailangan dala mo itong nakaspecify in Ephesians chapter 6. Okay? Verse 10 to 13. Basahin nyo yan kung ano ah, kasi next week, pag-uusapan natin yan. Now, when the general sabi dyan, in front of it, it's one of you. May mga armas dyan. Okay? Kasi, whether you like it or not, sasama ka sa akin, gigira tayo. Kasi kung hindi ikaw gigirahin. Di ba? May arma light dyan, may backpack dyan, may mga bullet vest dyan. Iba nanood na kayo ng mga gera ngayon, mga Navy Seals, no? mga special commandos. Grabe talaga yung mga best nila ba? May mga goggles, night goggles pa. Ano? Oh. So, um, itong context na ito ay panahon ni Apostle Paul. Wala pa yung mga ganun. But in, in the latest modern context right now, may mga night goggles na. Isuot mo rin yun. Kasi panahon ng kadiliman, anong dapat makita mo? Dapat makakita ka talaga, di ba? 
So, suot mo yan, may M16, may backpack, andyan na yung pagkain mo, andyan na yung vest mo. Alam mo yung mga bulletproof vest nila, may plate pa pala yan. May metal plate pa na ilalagay. Back to back, ang bigat. Wala kay training. Mag, uh, kayo nga, mag, uh, sa kayo nang magbuhat kayo ng ano dyan, 20 kilos na bigas. Lakad yung hindi ng bangkiran. Mahilak mo ba? No? Ang mga sundalo, 60 kilos, 70 kilos karga nila. They will walk by miles, by the hour. Yung mga Navy SEALs, lumala mo eh. Yung 5 kilometers, 2 kilometers. M16 ang dala. Magbitbit ka lang M16, mamigat na ba? No? Galamoy ka pa. Tayo nga, maglamoy. Sarili lang natin, malunod pa tayo. No? Kasi wala pa yung training. Pero ang gusto ng Lord, maging equip ka. Navy SEALs ka ng Panginoon. Amin po? Yes. Sinong gusto maging Navy SEALs ng Panginoon? Yes. Yes. Maligoy, palakpakan natin sa Lord. Pero hindi niya sinabi na isuot po bukas ang armor. Hindi rin niya sinabi na, o yung armor, pwede, ano na, yung pagka matanda ka na, suot mo. Hindi rin niya sinabi na, mamaya, sinabi niya ngayon. Amen? So sabihan niyo yung katabi mo, ngayon talay. Urgent. Pag urgent kasi, yung sabi, hindi mo pwede yung pagmamaya. Kasi ang enemy, nakabantay sa'yo. Amen? So mag-amping ta. Sabihan niyo yung katabi mo, Mag-amping ka. In Tagalog, mag-ingat po kayo. Okay. Everything you need. Kaya sabi ko kanina, si Lord, wala, walang isyo. Panalo na yan. Si Satanas, wala na rin isyo. Siguradong a-atake yan. Ang isyo nandito sa atin. God has given us grace. And that grace is about to isusuot natin. Amen. Everything you need to defeat the enemy, ibibigay ko sa'yo. The issue ngayon, ang dami natin, hindi natin sinusot yan. That's the problem. Amen? If you want to win this war, sino gusto manalo sa gera? Amen. Amen? You take up the full armor of God. This is the secret of victory. Kaya huwag kang absent next week. Sabihin ko kung ano yun. Okay, medyo bitin tayo, no? So, sasabihin ko next week ano yun. Okay, Paul used the metaphor of a Roman soldier which was applicable at that time. Noon, ang armor ng sundalo, may sandal yan sila, di ba? Nakita kayo Sparta, 300, no? May, may, yung gamit nga natin kanina, it was actually uh, Achilles, who, who was the, who entered the throne of uh, the, the kingdom of Troy, no? So, Paul used the Roman Soldiers as a metaphor. May mga, uh, yung mga, ano, uh, English knights nga, may mga damit sila na bakal. No? Parang, akala nyo, ano lang yun, parang net. Those are chains. Mabigat yun. Kasi kung i-chap ka ng espada, hindi ka matablan. Kasi bakal yun. Pero masakit pa rin. Kasi pinalok ka nga, kahit may karton. Maramdaman mo man, di ba? Sinong napalo na na may karton sa puwet? Okay, naalala ko yung kaibigan ko. Naglayas yan ng alas 7 ng gabi. Pag uwi niya alas 9, binakabang ng nanay niya sa, sa bahay, sa pintuan. Sabi niya, para daw hindi daw masyado maramdaman. Suot na siya ng karton. Ngayon nung pinalo siya, nalaman ng nanay, may karton ka pala. Tinan. Lag, lag ka. Lalo tuloy siya na puruan. Okay? So, Kung noon ang Roman soldier, asuot niya parang damit na mahaba, may helmet na ganoon, tapos uh, meron pa silang parang toothbrush sa ulo, no? Ay, well, para sa kanya toothbrush na yun, baka sa kabayo yun, ha? Hindi ko alam. Okay. Para sa kabayo siguro yun. Pagka inaantok yung kabayo yun ang gamitin nila, o pang siyay ng sapatos, ha? So, pero ngayon, ang mga sundalo natin, mga ganda na yung shoes, hindi na combat shoes, actually. Parang mountain hiking shoes na ang mga Navy Seals ngayon. Biruin mo yung combat shoes, ginoon ko na suot ko yun para ako umiiyak talaga ako. Suot ko na talaga, no? So ngayon parang suot ka lang ng mga Salomon, mga Columbia, mga ganun mga klaseng mga shoes na ngayon yung mga Navy Seals. Hindi na uso yung combat shoes. Mga CBO na lang gagamit, ano? 
no? So, so it would, kung ngayon yun, try to example, kasi hindi man natin ma-picture out yung mga sundalo noon. Ano ang sundalo ngayon? It's the same thing, principle. They have a helmet, di ba? And uh, though they do not have a shield, but they are using vest right now. May mga plates. Amen? Ah, meron man yung mga shield, yung mga anti-riot police. Di ba? So, silip na lang. Sinilipay lang natin ka di ha? So, yung ganun, no? So, add a backpack and a metal plates beneath. Bakit daw susuot yun? Ano ba sila papuntang party? Gira talaga. Alam nila na kapag hindi mo sinuot yan, patay ka talaga. You know? So, ganun din. Bakit sinabi ng Lord by Apostle Paul na magsuot ka ng armor? So, hindi na dapat natin pag dalawang isip na naatakihin talaga tayo. Amen po? Okay. So, stand firm. Sabihin mo, stand firm. Stand firm. Para daw makakayot tayo. Para, alam mo yung stand firm? Yung bang, naalala ko kasi nun. Naglaro ko nila ang basketball. San Pedro. Medyo matibay pa nun ba? So, I was actually, naka, nakatalikod lang ako nun. Nung pagharap ko ganun, meron ko parang paparating na tumakbo. Binangga ako. Ang problema, kasi siya man ang nalisukit, hindi rin mag ba? Ang pagda ako. Ibig sabihin, mat, hindi ako basta natumbaw. Kay, I, I was standing firm. That, the long basis yun, nangyari. Pangalalawa naman, siya hindi nag-stand firm. Ako naman yung tumatakbo. Yung cashier namin sa San Pedro College, kaya hindi ako napakita dyan pag ilubay ang ako noon. No? Pumasok ba naman sa basketball court, naglalaro kami, hindi eh, pass break. Di hinabot ko mula. Pagdating ko na dyan, wala sa harap ko. Nabukasan ba, inanap ako, absent ako ba? Nakasaklay. Oh, grabe talaga. Dito, dito, at saka dito. Buti na kaibigan ko yung mga madre doon. Hindi ako kasi mga madre ng San Pedro ay hindi ko tapo ko yung putan ma. Pwede, totoo yun. Okay. So, totoo ang putan. So, stand firm. Kapag tumayo ka, bakit kailangan mong maging matibay sa pagtayo? Why is it that even in martial arts, tinuturuan kang mag-stand on a proper stance? Kasi pag binira ka, hindi ka mo natutumba. Kasi pag mali ang stand mo, kita mo yung mga nakatayo sa kanto na kaganon. May pagkain mo yan, natumba. Di ba? Hindi ka mo huyang-huyang. Ha? Kailangan matibay ka sa buhay ng tao. Dapat tama yung tayo mo. Ano ba pinagtatayuan mo ngayon? Why do you need to hold your ground? Pwede ka namang lumipat, di ba? Why is it that the Lord is saying to you, Stand firm! Do not be moved! Because our God is immovable. May mga bagay sa buhay na binigay ng Panginoon sa atin na hindi ka dapat natutumba. Kung tumatumba ka man, tumayo ka dyan ka ulit. Until you become strong. Okay? Because something is coming against you. Amen? May darating talaga na babanggain ka. Ang kagandaan lang, andyan yung grasya ng Panginoon. Amen. But you need to stand firm and allow the grace of God to saturate you. But you are told to stand firm. It is to hold your ground that you already have. Meron, meron kang dapat pinatayuan na hindi ka dapat mawala dyan. Tingnan mo yung katapi mo nga. Oh, where are you right now? Amen? Where are you right now during the times of trials? Kasi pag minsan maraming mga tao, pag dumating yung pagsubok, ayoko na. Ang, 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 ang proper excuse para maging religious ng konti, pahulay sa ako. Pahinga mo na ako. Ano ka pahinga dyan? Eh? Sure. Hindi yan pahinga. Mas talong problema yan. Amen? Because even the, the world has this principle, a winner never quits. A quitter never wins. Yan mga runner, ito si Soy, runner yan. Hindi ka makarating sa finish line kung umda ka. 
You need to stand firm. You tell the person beside you, you need to stand firm. Okay? Why? Because all of the territory, may mga territory na binigay ang Lord sa iyo na hindi ka dapat mawala dyan. Una, is that maalala mo na galing ka sa kadiliman at inilagay ka sa liwanan. There are people, nung makilala si Jesus, ang saya-saya, Lord, I will serve you kasi dati ang buhay ko napakadilim. Nung dumating naman yung pagsubok, kasi hindi ba nawala yung pagsubok? Nung naging Christian ka, ang buhay ng Christian ay masayang tunay sa amin nila. Bakit kaya may problema na? I quit. The Lord is saying to you right now, if you are in the middle of trouble and problem, do not quit. Tell the person beside you, do not quit. Hold your ground. Stand firm. Amen? Stand firm. While there is an armor, you need to, how you can stand firm? You use the armor of God. Hold your bases. Okay? Number two, you will adapt them. Dati, hindi mo kilala si Lord. Pero nung nagpakilala si Jesus sa pamamagitan ng cross sa Calvario, ikaw ay kanyang niligtas. Ang sabi niya, to all those who believe in Him and who receive Him, He gave Him the right to become children of God. We were adopted. Ang Jewish culture, alam nyo, kung adopted ka pala, kung minsan mas lamang ka pa sa totoong anak na totoo lang, they will love you even more. Kaya ito yung principle na ipinakita. So, kung i-translate natin ito, ang, ang Jew man talaga ang pinili ng Panginoon. But we were adopted as Gentiles. Now, on the Jewish culture, mas palanggap pa sa ginoon niya. Amen! Amen. Apakan na itong ginoon. Okay. You've been sealed with the Spirit. Paano ka makikilala ng Heavenly Father? Ah, anak ko ito. Paano? When the Holy Spirit is with you. Amen? Amen? Anak ko yan. Amen. And I'm going to protect you. Anak ko yan, I'm going to bless you. Amen? Anak ko yan, I will provide all his needs according to my riches and glory. Amen? Okay, you've been given spiritual gifts. Ano ito mga spiritual gifts? Amen? The gift of tongues, the gift of prophecy, the gift of healing, no? the gift of prosperity, the gift of peace, and so on and so forth. There are lots of many things that God has prepared for us. Okay? You're part of a body. Dati wala ka. Mag-isa ka lang. Ngayon, you are part of the church. Amen. Because you are a member of the church. Hindi ka na putok sa buho. Amen. You have a family. Tell the person beside you, you have a family. Okay. You have a spiritual inheritance. By the blood of Jesus Christ, we receive inheritance from the Lord. May pamana ang Panginoon para sa atin. Amen po? Kaya ito yung mga bagay na huwag kang mag-give up. You stand firm on the Word of God. May promise ang Lord sa iyo. Huwag mo tingnan masyado yung problema niyan. Amen? At tingnan mo ano sinasabi ng Panginoon sa iyo. Amen? Stand firm. Okay. Stand firm. Number seven, you have forgiveness. Napatawad na tayo ni Lord. Ito yung para sa akin pinakamagandang regalo. Yung pinatawad tayo ng Panginoon. Kahit hindi tayo karapat dapat. Amen po? Okay. So all of this territory, with the work of Christ, when you pray to receive Christ, it of God now possess it. Hawakan mo ito as a child of God. But what is saying in chapter 2 and 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, previous preaching natin, sinabi dito kung ano tayo, ano ang kabuuan ng isang Kristiyano. Amen po? So kailangan natin maalaman na ito ay mga bagay na dapat nating lakaran at panghawakan. Amen po? Na kahit anong problema, hindi ka ma-distract. Alam mo kung minsan, pag may problema na instead kay Lord, instead nakatayo tayo sa promise ng Lord, ang pinatayuan natin yung sinasabi ng demonyo sa buhay. Amen? So, stand firm in the Lord. Okay. You have peace. May, uh, may kapayapaan na binigay. 
and you have the fruit of the Spirit. Okay? Hold on to what you possess. Ano ang binigay ng Lord sa iyo ngayon? Siguro, three days or last week or last year, na-realize mo, Lord, na ang sarap palang maglingkod sa iyo. Kumalala mo yun when you first started to serve God. Your first love with the Lord. Those are the things na hindi nawawala sa iyo. And God is reminding you, you need to hold on to it. Kasi pagdating ng problema, mga pana ng demonyo sa buhay mo, the arrows, the flaming arrows of the enemy, it will surely come. Amen? Darating talaga. Hindi pwede, Lord, pwede mamaya na lang, or next year na lang, pag ready na ako. Wala ba yan yun? No? Lord, wag muna, wag muna ako mag-trials and uh, testing. Kay, hindi pa ako ready. Alam mo, maging ready ka ngayon. Sabihin mo yung katabi mo, be ready right now. Lies are going to come. Maraming kasi mga lingan ng demonyo papasok sa iyo na palpak ka. Pangalawa, wala wala kang wala kang kinabukasan, no? Kung minsan mga tao pa ang gagamitin sa iyo but that, that we are not against flesh and blood, but it is the enemy that is putting words into their mouth so that when they release it to you, maniniwala ka naman. I always reject the words of the enemy against my life and against my family. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Kaya may sinabi sa iyo, ikaw, wala kang kinabukasan. Those are curses. Amen? Those are lies. Magiging totoo lang yung lies na yan sa buhay mo kapag tinanggap mo yan. Oo, totoo talaga. Lagi talaga ako yung palpak. Oo, totoo talaga. Wala talaga akong pag-asa. Oo, talaga. Wala, wala. Hindi talaga, hindi ko talaga kaya magbago. Oo, hindi ko talaga kaya mag-serve kay Lord. There was one time, there is a person who sent me a message. Sinabihan ako, siguro, hindi talaga ako para kay Lord at para sa ministry. Kasi kahit ano doon pagmamakaawa niya, hindi daw siya sinagot ng Lord. Alam mo kung minsan, hindi mo marinig ang Lord dahil may nakapiring sa tainga mo. The Lord wants to talk to you. Amen? Because the Lord is a person. He wants, He really wants to talk to you. Kailangan lang dapat may matanggal sa tainga natin. And these are the words of the enemy in your ears and in your eyes. Amen po? So, people are going to come he will use people. But these people are not against you. We are against the flesh and blood. Hindi siya ang kalaban natin. You pray for that person that he will be liberated from the schemes of the enemy. Amen? Amen? Hindi siya. Kaya, alam nyo, minsan tingnan natin kalaban sila, hindi sila ang kalaban. Simula ngayon, magbago ang pag-iisip natin na ang tao ang hindi natin kalaban. Sila ang ating ipaglalaban. Amen? Hindi siya kalaban. Okay? Balikan, sabihin natin ito sabay-sabay. Hindi siya kalaban. Sila ang ating ipaglalaban. So, nagbabago ang mindset natin ngayon. Tama kung ba? We need to pray for them and we need to teach them how also to stand firm. Circumstances are going to come. May mga pagsubok talaga na nadarating. Amen? Gaya ni Job, dumating ang pagsubok. Sabay-sabay pa naman. So, kapag dumating ang tagirap sa buhay mo, huwag kang sumutong sa Panginoon. Amen po? Tell the person beside you, do not quit. Okay. Standing firm is not just like you're standing. Pag sinabing standing firm, kasi binasa natin to, stand firm pala. Ah, ganito lang. Parang nakaabang lang sa kanto. Nasa sakyan. Ano? Or stand firm parang naka, nakaabang ng crush mo. Tama ba? Stand firm parang nakaabang lang kung kailan mabakanti yung computer. Ay ay, no? Hindi yun ang ibig sabihin ng stand firm. Something is coming to you. Okay, makinig po tayo. Kapag sinabing stand firm, mag-ready ka. Parang you have to picture yourself inside a, 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 a rubber mat inside a rubber mat, no? Na, sasabihin na ng referee, okay, uh, ano man tawag yan? Chariot? No? Yung, uh, yung re. And then, fighting stance ka na, di ba? 
So, sinabi na ng Lord, stand for meaning, fighting stance. Amen? Okay? Fighting stance. Ready ka na. Hindi yung, tayo sinabihan na tayo for how many years, nitong verse na ito. Stand firm. Stand firm, Lord. Ha? Ha? Ito yung kalaban mo. Nagagano mo. It's ready to devour you. Kuha na picture nyo. He is a roaring lion waiting to devour. Pero ang mga Christian, may, may tagalong-ganon pa. Tama pa. May, may tagalong-ganon pa. May tagalong-ganon pa. Ha? Isyada. Lesawi. Bakit ganon? Pag sinabing stand for famine, ang katabi mo stand for means it's a fighting stance. Something is going to come to you. You need to be ready. Pero habang nag-grow ka in the Lord, there is an equipping that is you need to pass through. I, I, I was so blessed with that girl doon sa gym nila, Morian. I think she is 13 or 14. Senior black belt. Ang iba ang fighting stance niya. Pag pag-fixin natin, gano'n lang talaga, no? no? Siya, nakagano'n lang, no? Binabasa na ang kalaban. Ah, the Lord wants you to be like that. Because sinabi ng Lord, that you are more than conquerors. Yeah. Hindi ka na takot tayo. Oh, 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 Ano? If you are a captain, the Lord is saying, you are more than conquerors. Ano yung sabihin? Ang isang conqueror, may mga kinangker na yan, but you are more than conquerors. Kung sa manok, paganador ka na. Marami ka nang tinatalo dapat. Amen po? Pero paano ang mangyayari yan sa'yo? Stand for On a fighting stance. With a full armor. Amen? Because you are God's name. Amen? Okay. You are holding to that area that you already possessed. Gusto mo bang nakawin sa kaway yung mga binigay ng Lord sa'yo? Ha? That's why you have to hold on to that basis. Amen? Ikaw, Satanas, aatake ka sa akin. The Lord is telling me to stand firm. I wear the full armor of God. Come on, attack! Like that 14-year-old girl Sige, attack daw be, kay mag-counter ako. Pag makasipa, ginawa ko. Ang galing talaga. Bilip talaga ako. Hindi man ako lahat nag, naging ano talaga sa ibang mga players. Kay Kabasa, I, I was once a, a, I was playing before. Pero that, that girl, she was just reading like that. Pero pag kumilos yung paa na ako na hanto niya eh. Because she was playing. Navy SEALs were trained. Uh, I was fascinated also with Navy SEALs kasi nanonood ako ng movie si TV series ng Navy SEALs sa popcorn. No? How, how they act. So I tried to search, paano kaya sila nag-train? No? Grabe, hindi ordinaryo. Sa PMA natin, na marami na mamatay sa training pa lang. Sa kanila, mas grabe. Yung push-ups na 2 minutes, 100. May sample na tayo. May time yan sa jet. Yung kaya mo lang. Mag-push up ka na. Yung kaya mo lang, itayin mo lang na. Push up. Ready? One. Two. Magaling naman pala ito. Navy SEALs can push up 100 or 200 in 2 minutes. Ha? Kung yun, yun ay ano yun, gapang yun, ang Navy SEALs are running. Why nagagawa nila? 
because they were trained. So sabihan mo yung katabi mo, you need training. Kaya ngayong, ngayong ano, patapusin ko lang itong January, magti-training tayo. Hindi ko? Oo. Oh. Okay. Sige. Prepare your face, hold on to that position so that the enemy cannot take back that territory. May territory dati yung kinatayuan mo ngayon nung naging Christian ka. Territory ng kaaway yan. Yung buhay mo is a territory of the enemy. Amen po? And that is why, but the enemy wants to take it back. Gusto niya bumalik ka sa dati mong buhay. Okay? Pero kailangan mo mag... Ano? Anong kailangan mo? You need to stand firm para hindi mabawi ng kaaway. Kasi nanakawin talaga yan. Amen po? Okay. So stand firm. It is urgent. Why? Because what he says in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 11. When he says the evil day here, he's saying there are specific opportunities and times when the enemy is going to come and try and deceive you or discourage you or to turn you away from your general and commander whom you love. Okay? Bakit ngayon kailangan mo suot ng armor? Kasi ang enemy ay darating. Ikaw ay bibigyan ng maraming kasinungalingan sa iyong isipan at puso in this battleground para mawalan ka ng gana mag-ingkod sa ating Panginoon na iyong minamahal. Amen? Okay. So to enable you to overcome for those difficult times, for the evil day, evil day, Araw na wala kang ganang maglingkod kay Lord. Araw na wala kang ganang maniwala sa kanya. Araw na nakimutan na mo ang mga pangako ng Panginoon sa iyo. Those are evil times. And it comes and it is coming. Okay? Now, on those times, there are onslaughts of the attack of the enemy. Onslaught. Sinabi ko last week, pag sinabi ko onslaught, yung bang pag dumating ang problema, yung alam, parang pakiramdam mo, wala ka na mapuntahan. Wala ka mapagtaguan. Yung uyat, yung ty typhoon, yung landa, na nalito sila saan sila magtatago. Kasi pa, kahit yung building na pinasok nila, wala na atip. Right? And that is the onslaught. So what are the example of onslaught of trials? Na wala ka ng trabaho, ah, uh, part ng family mo, nagkaroon ng sakit, nagka-problema ka sa pamilya, may away sa pamilya, uh, that threatens precious relationships. Ang bigat kaya sa kalooban yan. Tama ba? Okay. No? no? Namatayan ka, and then when there is an attack in the ministry, ako, matigal naman talaga ako sa church, not only here in Cross Borders, dati pa noon, ang dami kong nakita churches were attacked in the ministry, ang hirap sa kalooban. Amen? Masakit sa kalooban. So, these are onslaught of attacks. Number five, ito yung batayan natin. When passion to the Lord becomes cruel. Kung dati mainit ka maglingkod kay Lord, ngayon ang lamig-lamig mo na, sing lamig na ng puso ng aso, you are magbantay na talaga tayo. Okay? You're wondering why they're going to make it, no? And you're tempted to believe God is not a good God. Biruin mo sa panating ng problema ang uh, tingin mo na kay Lord. Lord, Lord, ano lang naman pala, hindi ka man pala totoo. Lord, sabi nila, you are a good God. Hindi naman. Kaya ito, I was so sad about a friend of mine who sent a message to me. Grabe, parang uh, nagpakaawa na daw siya kay Lord. Hindi daw siya sinasagot. Ano ba talaga? Iba lang ba ang mahal niya? Ako hindi. Those are lies of the enemy that penetrated his heart. Amen? Ang gusto ng Lord na sa atin, that he, he will always answer us. But there are principles why he cannot answer. Because your prayers were not reached. Hindi naririnig ng Panginoon. Maybe you may unforgiveness. Tama ba? Okay? So, batayan po natin yan. And ask God for something in circumstances just a turn just the opposite and you hear this little boy say, See, kapag narinig mo na, tingnan mo. Ano sabi nila? Babayit ang Diyos. O bakit ganyan yung buhay mo ngayon? Nakarinig na kayo ng ganyan? 
the what? Those are the voices of the devil himself. Kapag sinabi, huwag ka nang mag-serve kay Lord. Pwede ka naman lang mag-serve na ano eh. You think it in your own terms? You cannot serve God with your own terms. We serve God by His terms. Amen? So, those are lies of the enemy that attacks you. So, why are you, are you living like this? When you're a single, o oh, lalo na sa mga pinata, ay ikaw, baka ka magkais, no? Hindi ikaw. Lalo na yung mga nasa 30s, 40s, but I still love them and they're enjoying it, uh, no problem. Pero kung nag, nag-wonder ka na, bakit hindi ka pa nag-asawa? Because may may baka ka yan, wala na another 10 years or more. No? So, wala, wala, hindi mo na yan isipin. Pero yung iba na nasa 40s na tapos sasabihin, May marinig ka na ngayon, no? Ang enemy, ang sasabihin, o bakit yung mga ibang kabads mo, enjoy na sa pamilya nila, pero ikaw hindi. Wala talaga favor ng Lord sa iyo. Those are voices of the enemy. Kaya, hanapin mo na lang kung sino makita mo dyan, yun na yun, sumgaban mo na, kahit tabingi yung ilong. Ano? So what? Listen to the voice of the Lord. Sasabihin siya, you're missing out of your life. Ang dami mo nang nalapasan, no? Ang dami mo nang naiwanan. And uh, wala na, pinagdaanan ka na ng panahon. The enemy is attacking your self-esteem. Well, regardless of what it is, kung meron kang inaantay, antayin mo mo. Amen? Huwag kang makinig sa sinasabi ng kaaway. The enemy will deceive you. Ay, yan na lang, nasa kabilang kanto, tapos basta may tali lang sa ulo, tapos yung may may buta sa ilong, yan na yun. No? Ask ka na ng confirmation. No. The Lord is going to give you, and the Lord is going to give you inside the garden. Kasi si Adam, lumating si Eva sa garden. And the garden represents the presence of the Lord. Amen? Amen. So that's another topic. I hope you want tagal dyan. Okay. There are different times and different people's lives. There will be an evil day. Kaya in Ecclesiastes, there is a time for everything. And in the New Testament, it says, May araw ng kadiliman. Amen? May araw ng kasamaan. May araw na atakihin ka talaga. Hindi mo alam kung kailan yun. Okay? So, kailangan mo maghanda. We need to be a proactive Christian, not reactive. There will be, and you must be able to oppose and resist the enemy. Okay, five more minutes. You need to come against Satan. You need to be able to guard your territory. So that who you are in Christ doesn't negate it in how you think. Alam mo, kapag dumating ang problema at attack ng enemy, hindi magbabago yung pag-iisip mo. At the way ng pananalita mo, no? And how you begin to live. Alam mo, minsan, ang mga Christians, pagdating ng problema, pati salita nagbabago na rin. Amen? You need to stand firm in your basis. Okay? Number two. Stand firm then with a the belt of truth buckled around your face, a waist, with a breastplate of righteousness in place, nasa tamang lugar, and with your feet, fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Yung sandal noon na sinasabi ni Apostle Paul for the Roman soldiers, pag sinabi ni Stan Firm, may spike pala yung sandal noon. Ha? Pa- para ano? Para pag may pumangga sa hindi ka maka-atras, matibay ka talaga. Okay? So with which you can extinguish the flaming arrows of the enemy. Take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. I have two remaining topics for this series. Okay? We'll skip tayo next week, but I will still preach for Jeddah because of Maanito ko sa Wednesday. Para sa ano. And then, so, stand firm by putting the full armor of God. That's all stand up. Now, Bago tayo mag-pray, I want you to 
uh, isipin muna natin ito in our hearts. Ano yung ground na dapat mo in-defend? Ano yung nasa sa'yo na binigay ng Lord? Na hindi mo papayagan na mawawala pa sa'yo ulit. Amen? What are the lies of the enemy na sinabi sa'yo, ah, hindi ka mabuting tao, ah, hindi ka na, hindi mo na kaya magbago. Ano, ano pa? Marami yan. Okay? And what reminder God have said to you today? Okay, let's pray. Now, as we pray, you come to the Lord and uh, close your eyes. I want to minister to you. Numapit ka sa Panginoon and uh, tell the Lord, Lord, I will commit today, Lord God, to stand firm in your presence. To be strong, Lord, in you, O God. Hallelujah. Let's all lift up our hands to the Lord and close our eyes. Father God, we are here right now standing, Lord God, in your presence. We ask the Lord God to strengthen us so that when the evil day comes, Lord, we will be able, Lord God, to stand against the schemes of the enemy. Lord, today, I will, Lord God, hold on to your promises. I will wear the full armor, Lord God, in which, Lord, we can glorify you, Lord, because, Lord, we will recognize that we are overcomers because of you. Lord, gusto namin maranasan ang tagumpay, Lord, dahil nandiyan ka sa aming buhay. And we entrust to you our lives, Lord God. And starting today, Lord, we will live a life of, of confidence, yes, Lord. of an assurance, Lord, that you will never leave us, yes, nor forsake us. Father God, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that, Lord, it is your grace that we are able us, Lord, to stand up, Lord, and stand firm, Lord God, because our strength comes from you. Yes. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And so, Lord God, we will be able, Lord God, to glorify you and please you, Lord God, because we obey you yes. by fulfilling your command, Lord God, to suit up the full bottom gear, Lord, so that the day of evil will come, Lord God. We will be able to stand against the works of the enemy and we become righteous, we become overcome because of you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. For yours is the victory and the glory of